Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow Industrials down nine, NASDAQ are four, S&Ps are flat. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday. <coughs> Excuse me, folks, at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day. Uh, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, there's a great newsletter, the ma Mastering Probability. Now, as, as you come over and you're looking at these slides, you're going to see our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, also is the 2018 Timer of the Year. And we're coming into 2000, oh my God, 20. So it is going to be the next one, it's going to be the 2019 Timer of the Year. Bottom line, folks, is that real easy to get his newsletter. You come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to go right under. Uh, featured content. You got Master Probability right there. You can sign up for one month, for six months, or a year. All come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. One month is $149. Six months, folks, is $695, which is a savings of $199. A year is $1195, which is a savings of $593. Bottom line, check it out. You can sign up for a month. You like it. You keep it. You make lots of money. You don't like it. We give you your money back. Check it out. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I'm I'm warming up. Uh, you know, I moved to Florida about 40 years ago to avoid the cold. Yeah. And this weekend, at least, you know, and I'm further south than you are, and it's hard to believe it's October 18th, or November 18th, I should say, and just simply how cold it got. So yeah, it's supposed to be... We're definitely little babies. I, I heard you're on the air today. <laughs> and folks, we really are. I mean, you should... Yeah, so picture this. You know, what it was, Steve, was this. It was 65, folks, okay, yesterday during the day. But it was a raw 65, like when Steve was in Detroit or I was in Boston, that it felt like, to us, like 25. Like our oh. fingers are cold, you know, yeah. No, no absolutely. It's, it, it, absolutely. It was disgusting, so, wasn't it? I know. Yeah. Well, and we're, we're not really pre as prepared for it, you know. I right. don't really have much in the way of winter clothing any longer. Some sweaters and stuff. But, uh, you know, even worse for me, I, I was at the just normal doctor's appointment on Thursday. And, uh, you know, he said, hey, based on your age and a couple other things going on, uh, and because I had had shingles about 15, 20 years ago, he said, you've got you've to have this shingles vaccine. That pneumonia. And, you shot i heard i know and the, yeah and i gotta tell you the first the first 18 hours was okay yeah but the following 48 hours it was was i've never gone through the sweats and chills so many times really yeah wow. so and then i then i finally did the look up to see what the side effects were and i was experiencing them but then once they were done uh which was about three o'clock in the afternoon yesterday you know everything came nice, back to feeling normal. good okay yeah yeah yeah, really? yeah but in any event, so, you know, uh, I always applaud you, as everyone should, just simply for the education uh, opportunities that you bring to all of us. The reason that I'm here even chatting with you this afternoon is because that is how our relationship began. Uh, I also love uh, emulating you and reading either, you know, different quotes uh, from your cards and so forth. And so to begin our session today, uh, Jim Rohn, who uh, who's really was uh, Tony Robbins' teacher. Okay. So one of his, his, his real primary, in fact, Tony worked for Jim. That's how we under, that's how he really began to learn about the, the self-help industry. And so uh, Jim says a formal education will make you a living. Now, Jim has long since passed away, but okay. self-education will make you a fortune. And, and I believe that that's what you do for each of us out here. You provide us with those self-education tools. And, and David and Basil and myself, Larry, we get the opportunity to pass along some of our self-education. That's what I'd like to do for the viewers and listeners out there today. And uh, one of the tools that I want to share is just, it's simple. You don't have to be any kind of technician other than being able to identify for each calendar year where the high and low is. Okay. And that's what this first chart is showing. It's showing the prior year highs. So PYH is the signal. It's a weekly time frame chart for the Dow that we're looking at. And it shows what the prior year highs were from 2013 to 2018. And what we can see right now is that the Dow is trading above its prior year high out there, which is real important because if you can go back into the 2014-15 time period where the market was consolidating, uh, what we can see here is that it was struggling to overcome the prior year highs. So it's important to understand, hey, where are we at? 
right now with regard to the Dow. We can also see, if I just draw, Tom, a little rising trend line off of the first high in 2018 and then the second high in 2018, that it contained price uh, earlier this year, but now the Dow has broken above that. And with it breaking above that, what we can also conclude or what we what we can, de can determine is that price may continue to move higher through the end of the year. And the, the reason is because of that favorable seasonal cycle. And um, and so we cannot rule out the, a move higher into the end of the year out there. Now, typically, the seasonal cycle finds a bottom around the middle of October, around October 13th out there. In a slide or two, we'll come back and show you where that bottom occurred this year. Uh, this happens to be the quarterly Dow chart with all of its prior year high designations. That, that, that way, everybody that's watching our slides out here on Tiger TV, they can see that in down years, we typically don't see price trade above the prior year highs. You can come back into the 2000 top. You can take a look at the 2007-2008 top. And so just understanding where the year makes its high and whether price is able to trade above that level uh, is a real helpful indicator as to uh, whether price is actually breaking out or not. So we've got two breakouts right now going on inside of the Dow. And I'm not saying that the Dow can't form some type of top this year. So let's go take a look at some of the current patterns that are underway and what to be watching for. So right now, the Dow has two A to B equals CD pattern formations that are underway. That was one of the first patterns that you taught me, Tom. And so there is one that's in uh, uh, in black and one that is in red. It uses different swing points out here. And it shows that right now, the larger A to B equals CD, the Dow has priced itself up towards that one-to-one -one level, which is 28.057. Uh, the smaller A to B equals CD pattern has got a price projection of 28,245. The key here for this pattern to complete for me is we need to see some type of bearish reversal candle. So if there is a bearish reversal candle that forms over the coming days, that will signal the A to B equals CD pattern has completed. But if the pattern is going to complete and we're going to see some type of change in trend, we need to see price close below my oscillator and change line. I refer to it as my green line uh, or green or red. And that price point right now is about 27. 796. So if we see a bearish reversal candle, folks, watch for the 27,796 area. Another potential topping pattern is that we're in the TD setup nine count. Today will be bar number nine. These blue arrows on this chart show other nine counts that have identified tops and bottoms. So this is something to pay attention to. And it's also clear that the on October 7th, when we were talking with each other, it was the low on October 3rd that formed that seasonal bottom. And that that was because price was coming down and testing the TD nine count breakout level out there. So there is a potential for a top, but we need to see some signals. And the reason why I'm looking at it is because the money since the bottom that came in on that October 3rd time frame right now is equally being distributed between the U.S., Germany, Japan, emerging markets, and even light sweet food out there. So um, to sum it up, if we don't see some type of bearish reversal candle, prices are going to continue to edge their way higher. But there are topping signals. And folks, now to get Steve's news out, just come over to our website at TFNN with the featured content to see maximum probability. Steve, have a great one, a safe one. Of course, look for a show tomorrow.